Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the MoveWeb XDN to quickly get started with Spartacus for SAP Commerce Cloud, formerly known as Hybris. Before I dive in, let's talk about why you should use the XDN for your Spartacus project. The first reason is that the XDN makes your site faster by streaming data for your pages to the device before a shopper even taps on them. This results in pages that load in an instant because it's as if the mobile networking speed was infinite and had zero latency. Let me show you an example. Here I am on an actual device using the public SAP Spartacus demo site. I'm going to tap on this compact camera category right now. One, two, about two seconds for that to load. And now I'm going to tap on this camera product. One, two, three, about three seconds for that transition. Pretty good, and this is partially because it's a PWA, but let me show you how we can get even faster on the XDN. Here is the same Spartacus site, but now on the XDN. I'm going to tap on that compact camera category right now. As you can see, that transition was instantaneous. Again, I'm going to tap on this product right now. You can see that transition happened instantaneous. In fact, almost all the transitions here, as you're going through this site, it's as if the site is getting out of the way and you're on a website and a network that has infinite bandwidth and zero latency. That's the benefit of the XDN. The second benefit of the XDN is that when you go headless and API driven like you do with SAP Spartacus, you need a new home for managing your front end. And the XDN simplifies all the workflows around developing, deploying, previewing, running, monitoring, experimenting, and defending your website. I won't go into all the capabilities right now, but I encourage you to check out the website and documentation on developer.moveweb.com. Okay, now let's show you how to get started with the XDN and SAP Spartacus. So here I am on developer.moveweb.com. This is our Spartacus guide. I'm going to skip this first step. I've already installed the XDN command line interface. The next thing I'm going to do is run npm create to create my project. Now, under the hood is installing the npm module, so it's going to take just a little bit of time. Okay. Next, I'm going to select the Spartacus template, and then I'm going to enter the host name for my Spartacus, sorry, my SAP Commerce Cloud host. Uh, give me a second while I pull that up. I'm going to select NPM as my package manager, and then I'll keep going. Now, to make this easier to follow along, I'm actually going to bring this browser window and put it to the side here so you can see all these steps. Uh, here, for example, we've documented that I've selected the Spartacus template and entering in the host name. At this point, I'm going to fast forward through the NPM install so you don't have to wait for that. Okay, now our NPM install is complete. Let's go into our new project. And next step is I need to configure the OCC base URL in environment prod.ts. So let's do that. And as it notes here in the documentation, if this is your first time getting started, the XDN is automatically going to assign you a project in this format. So we're going to pull this, and then it describes how to predict what that URL is. So I'm going to go to environment.prod.ts, and then insert our XDN domain here. Now, I know that in my case, it's going to be my username, and then my project name. My project name is what I named this at the beginning here. Put 
that in there and then hit save and I'll go back to my instructions and then I'm ready to deploy okay under the hood the XDN is actually going to do a production build of SAP Spartacus so this build will take a little while and again I'll fast forward through it but most of this build time is actually the build time of Spartacus and then at the end the move web will deploy it to the XDN okay our build is now completed uh, and we can see it live on the XDN first let me show you that build in the XDN itself and then inside the move web console so here's the build that I just deployed and then the actual Spartacus homepage is right here this is our Spartacus project out of the box okay thank you